Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you a Halloween haul. Now I am going to break this up into two parts because I just simply got way too much, way, way too much. My husband's looking at me like, oh my gosh, how much did you spend? But I've been collecting this for a few months now. Plus I wanna kind of establish my Halloween indoor decorations. I have a ton of outdoor decorations, but I don't have much for indoor. So this year I decided to go ahead and shop till I drop, <laughs> literally and get as much as I can, but of course I got good deals on everything. Um, I got cash back as well, so I didn't spend as much as I would have if I paid full price. So today I'm gonna share with you what I got from Kohl's. We've got some stuff from At Home. We've got stuff from Five Below, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, I think I already said At Home and then Big Lots. And then the next haul, we're gonna have stuff from Target uh michael's joann's and dollar tree so stay tuned for part two so let's go ahead and jump right in okay starting with kohl's now i have a kohl's card so i did wait till they had a 30 percent sale plus i had kohl's cash from buying my daughter's school clothes so i did save some money and got really good deals first thing up is these two pillows these ghost pillows how adorable i love them they're embroidered so they kind of stick out if you can see um, let's see, these were full price, $35.99. No, I don't think so. I got 30% off, plus I had Kohl's cash, so I don't know exactly how much I paid, but I will link everything down below if it is still available. Then I got these. These are really cute. It says Eek and Boo. They're kind of put together. There's a ghost in there as well. Um, you can kind of see the picture here, what they look like. These are gonna go on my couch. And these were $44.99. No, these were like majorly on sale plus 30% off. So I got these. Next up are some placemats. Now I got some um, for my island. I didn't get any for this table because I would need like 10 placemats and that's just not cost effective for these placemats anyway. So I got some to use on my island and some is like a centerpiece. But look how pretty are these spiderweb placemats. All that glitter. Oh, I love this so much. Um, these were $9.99 full price. I think I got them for around $2.99 or $3.99 a piece. So I got a ton of these. I think I got about five in total. Next up is this oven mitt. It's that old vintage cat. Really, really cute. It's a set of two. These were $14.99. Again, didn't pay full price. I will link it down below. Now this one was very, very expensive when I saw how small it was. Again, I don't check the size of things. I'm really bad about that, but I was pretty shocked to see how small it is. I got a sign from Kohl's about two years ago. It said, boo, it's really, really large and I use it outside. This time I'm gonna bring it in and put it in my kitchen. So I thought this was gonna be like the same size, but it does light up, which you can't tell. I think the battery's dead, but it says spooky. It's a neon orange. Yeah, you can't know if you can really tell, but it is lit up. So I got that. Now this was, $55.99 full price. I can't, I can't even. I think I got it for 25. That's why I said I was a little disappointed for the price. So it's up to you, but to me, I kind of regret it, but I'm gonna keep it because I don't want to lose all my Kohl's cash that I paid for it. Now that's it from Kohl's. Now we're gonna go on to Five Below. They had really good deals. These trees, I got four of them. I'm gonna use some of my dining room table, some in the kitchen. They say $5 on the tag but I got them for $4 a piece, so I got a few of those. Then I found this eek sign. I don't remember how much it was. I wanna say it was $3, but it's like a little skeleton bones. Really good, substantial size. Next up are two wreaths. Um, this one I thought was really cute. This was super cheap. This was $3 for this. That was kind of creepy. I might put this in my kitchen or on my uh, pantry door. All right, last but not least is this wreath. Now it is very messy, it's covered in glitter, but it was such a good deal. It was $5 for this wreath. Wait till you see it. Um, I'm gonna take it out of the package, so bear with me. Try not to get glitter everywhere. I think I'm gonna use this on my front door. But look at this beauty. Look how pretty with the bats, look at the glitter. It is picking it up, truly. It's so, so pretty and it's such a good size if you can tell. I love it, it's like that half crescent moon. So beautiful, and again, five bucks. Can't beat that. All right guys, I am sweating. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up. I got so much stuff that it's making me sweat. <laughs> 
Okay, so next stop, I'm gonna start with like Marshalls and Ross, TJ Maxx. It was one of those, I don't remember which store. I wanna say it was Marshalls, but it's this trick or treat blanket. Look how pretty, and it's large and soft. And this was cheap, it was 9.99, 10 bucks for this blanket. Can't beat that. All right, next up from Marshalls, cause I have the tag here, is this Staying Alive coffee mug. It was 4.99, skeleton here. It says staying alive, love that. Then I got this jack-o'-lantern mug, really, really bright orange, fluorescent orange, and this one was, oh, this one was $6.99, but it's really big, really substantial, love it. All right, last two things are from Ross. I got this, I'm just here for the booze sign. It's got some glitter detail with the skeleton dancing. This was $3.99. And then lastly, $9.99 for this beautiful snow globe. It's got the book stack with the skeleton head with the skull and the crow on top. Love it. Good size. I'm going to put this on my tier tray. It's big box, heavy box, full of stuff from at home and big lots. So let's start with this. Got this Halloween skeleton hand beware lawn stake. It was $9.99. You can kind of see it there. It'll focus for you. There you go. This will go out in my front yard, it says beware. All right, next up are these glittery black spiders. Really cute black and silver glitter. They were $3.99 a piece. I got two of those. I might go back for more. They're really, really pretty, but they do, you know, lose a lot of their glitter and it gets everywhere, but all right. And then I got two bags of skulls. This bag was $5.99. They are black skulls, decent size, not too small. This bag was $4.99. These skulls are a little bit smaller, um, but I got those, probably use them for vase filler or something, we'll see. All right, next up from at home are a bunch of these tiny little skeleton, skeletons, like Jack Skellington, skeletons. I got five of them, they were 99 cents a piece. These are perfect just to put anywhere, really. And then I found these witch brooms. They're, they've got a little bit of glitter on them. I don't know, there we go, if you can pick it up a little bit, but I got two of them. Neither of them had the price tag. I think they were $4.99 a piece. On this cute little, I guess it's like a candle holder. I'm gonna put my spoons in it for my coffee bar. It was $1.99. Now I am gonna do a Halloween coffee bar this year. I'm really into the coffee bar thing, uh, so stay tuned for that video. And the next up was this Beautiful little glass pumpkin. It's quite heavy. It's $8.99. It's got a witch hat on it and then some like cracked orange glass. Really nice. Really enjoy this one. And they had a few different uh, color options, but I really like the classic orange and black. All right, next up was this little drink cup. It's got a little skull on it with a top and a straw. This was $2.99. I'm not gonna use it as a cup. I'm gonna put straws in it probably and put it on my coffee bar. All right, last but not least from at home was this sign. This is the whole reason I went there, was for my coffee bar. And it says Salem Brewery. It is tin, it's not super heavy duty, but it does have like a little hanger. Now this was a really good price. It was only $9.99 and it's a decent size. So I'll put it up top there on the wall, Salem Brewery. All right, that's it for at home. Next up is Big Lots. Now Big Lots always comes through, whether it be you know indoor decorations or outdoor, but they have really cute stuff this year. So I jumped on the bandwagon. Uh, the prices were really good too. So first off was this little candy corn pillow. It's a decent little size. I'm gonna put it on my couch. Uh, my daughter's probably gonna steal it, but <laughs> this was $6.99. Now I've been on the hunt for some coffee mugs. I got a few, but it's kind of hard finding some classic ghost or jack-o'-lantern or skeleton. I keep wanting to say skeleton skeleton mugs, uh, but they had this one. It was $4.99, which is a fair price for a ghost coffee mug. And I found two candles and they actually smell pretty good. It smells like it'll be strong, but it says enter the dark side and it's got bats on it. Really good size, black, and it was $6.99. And I found this one. I kind of bought this one just for the aesthetic look of it, really, to be honest. And it says Halloween nights. Looks like a jar. Doesn't want to focus for you, but this one was $6.99 as well. This one smells more fruity. This one was more of like a pumpkin vanilla scent. Next up was this lighted tabletop ghost. He was $7.99. Good size too, got him. 
I thought this one was adorable. It says Boo. It's a little ghost sitting on top of a jack-o'-lantern. He lights up as well. Love, love. And he was $7.99 as well. And I found these little pumpkins. This one says Trick or Treat. This one says Hocus Pocus. Speaking of Hocus Pocus, what's your favorite Halloween movie? I don't know if you can tell mine. But let me know in the comments down below your favorite Halloween movie. I, I love Halloween. It's becoming one of my favorite holidays. I mean, I love Christmas, but I think Halloween's starting to take over. I am a horror movie buff at heart, so it only makes sense that I love Halloween. But these are $2.99 a piece. Okay, last few things. $2.99 for this guy. It's a little uh, skeleton on a little tombstone there, if you can see it. This is R.A.P. It's kind of hard to get to focus with this big light, guys. I'm sorry. It's just so dark here today. And he's a good size. And lastly was this book stack. Now, I think this is the whole reason I went there. It was $14.99. It's about comparable to most places, but it's hard to find stuff like this with this, you know, substantial size. He is going to go back here on my buffet table. So I love that. Really nice and very heavy. Like, I have to be careful. He's probably made out of porcelain, so it could break. All right, guys, that's my haul. That's at least half of it. I know. Can you believe I still have more? I have a ton more. Another 10, 15 minute video probably of stuff from Target, Michaels, Joann's, Dollar Tree, Amazon. I got a ton of stuff this year. So I will try to link everything that I can that's still available online um, at the at-home store. If you don't have one in your town or where you live, they do have an online store you can buy and ship to your house, which is great. Kohl's um, obviously has an online store. Five Below has an online store, that's how I got my stuff, but Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx, those kind of places you kind of have to go on the hunt and find it yourself. But there are lots of good stuff out there, guys. This year, I feel like the stores are flooded with goodies and the good stuff sells fast. It's only mid-August, so it seems a little crazy to be Halloween decor shopping, but that's how it goes. If you don't get it now and get it early, it's gone. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will link everything that I can down below and stay tuned. I am going to be filming a epic Halloween decorate with me inside this year. Last year I didn't do one. This is my first year and I have so much to decorate. I'm so excited, so stay tuned. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing plus your favorite Halloween movie? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.